Okay. Um, this is... Have you noticed in all of my videos, and I just really realized, I say good morning, or hello, and then I say, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Like, I guess when I'm talking or when I'm really tired, because I always end up making videos when I'm really, really tired. So I always kind of am either repeating the same thing over or... I don't know. If it gets on anybody's nerves, I'm sorry, because I feel like it gets on my nerves. When I listen, I'm like, God, like, why did I say that word so many times? <laughs> well, anyway, this is, um, I'm sorry, I have not had time to make any videos lately. I've been working like crazy. I've been doing a lot of night shifts, so I usually don't get home till like 11. And then I have to go right to bed because sometimes then I have to get up the next morning at 7 or 4. Well, I have to be at work by 7, I mean, and I have to, so I have to get up at like 4.30. <laughs> but anyway. Whew. All right, this is going to be my Witchiversity homework for Protection Week, Protection Magic. Um, I am going to make a video of showing you the things that I've been re researching for Astral Projection, but... I'm going to talk about this in that video, but I honestly have not been doing that much research on astral projection. For me, I don't know. It's not something I've done on purpose before. I've made a video, or I've talked about this, but I'm going to talk about this more later. But it's, it's something I've never done on purpose. I, I feel I have done it before, but not intentionally. But <clears throat> for me, I don't know. I feel like you can research as much as you want on astral projection, and you can learn everybody's different point of view about it. But I don't feel like it's something where we're really going to understand until we try it ourselves. And so that's something that I'm excited to try. I'm going Today I'm off work and tomorrow I'm off. So I really want to try sometime today or tomorrow. Because I don't feel that... I mean, I guess you can. Like, I'm not saying everybody. This is just my personal view. Like, I don't feel that... Sorry, I don't mean to shake the camera so much. It's just when I talk, I talk with my hands and I'm holding the camera. And I'm talking at the same time and this like makes it like boo boo boo. Sorry. <laughs> um and it, but sorry, um what was I saying? That I don't feel that at least in my point of view and my perspective, I don't feel like I can learn as much from astral projection from reading a book or as much as I went on astral projection from reading a book as I can from trying it intentionally doing it. I do path workings and I do, I used to do meditations and path workings every single morning, but astral projection <clears throat> is something I just haven't done yet. And there's something I just wasn't, I wasn't there yet. I'm not afraid to do it. I'm not afraid to try it. Like I've seen Insidious, like I love those movies, you know what I mean? And I'm not scared to do it. I just haven't, sorry, those are my kids' socks right there you're looking at. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to put them in the video. Messies. But it's just something I just haven't gotten to yet. I've been trying to... feel like I've been trying to load myself too much at once sometimes. And I need to stop that. <laughs> like, I try and learn way too many things at one time. And then I end up getting sidetracked and not learning any of them. And then that's really bad. <laughs> okay. So back to my video. This is protection. My Some of my household items I use for protection... I actually really want to open up my own shop because I, I make a lot of stuff. I love making oils and herbal blends and teas and bath scrubs. I love doing that. It's my passion. I love making that kind of stuff. I really want to go to school for aesthetics. So I hope that one day I can because I just, I love it. All right. And it's really funny that some of this stuff, I made a little bit before the group uh, when uh, Ember said it was for protection. And I was like, that's really funny because I had just started really getting into some protection stuff and like protection magic. And <clears throat> I just was like, that's perfect timing. <laughs> okay, I've shown you guys these before. These are my witches bottles. They are still charging. They have still been charging. Oh, don't want to show you the mess <laughs> on the floor. I've been still charging on my Laurel and Lose charm. And I also have our mojo bags. There's one, two, and three of mine right there with the mermaid. Um, so those are up there. I'm actually going to take those down and repurpose them. I have not been feeding them as like I should be. I feel like, I mean, 
for me, I feel like I should be doing more. And I'm going to not necessarily repurpose, I guess. I'm just going to add more. And I'm going to charge them more to where I feel that they are happy, you know? Well, my mojo, or not my mojo, sorry. My witch's bottles have been sitting in, um, soaking up the essence of my Laura and Lucy shrine. Which I felt is very important because, um, those are ancestral spirits and beings and the witches of the old, of the old ways and spirits of the field and the forest. And they are very, very important to me and they are with me through my journey all the time. So I felt like it was perfect because when I hold these, I just feel a rush of energy. Like it's, I just ha haven't felt like they were really ready yet to be buried. Like, I don't know why, because they sat there for a whole moon cycle and they charged on two full moons, one of them being the blood moon. But it just still, for some reason, I don't feel like they're ready. I feel like I need to let them charge until the next full moon almost, which I'm not sure. But I'm going to be doing an alignment on the next full moon. For I'm starting in the Ash, Birch, and Willow tradition by Raven Gramasi. Because as you know, I do practice um, Italian folk magic and Italian traditional magic. So that I think is going to be a great addition to my path. Which I'm going to make a video about that. And my journey and my path. Because I haven't really done that yet. But anyway, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked because there's so many things I want to talk about and I just haven't had time to make videos. I feel like I've been so disconnected and I'm so sorry. But, so I think I'm going to let these sit for another little while because they are just, they're so full of energy and emotion and it's like, I, I love it. I might even add something else. I don't know because I have rose petals. Mulan leaves, lots of broken glass, some menstrual blood. Um, I think that's it. I think, no, there's something else in here too. Oh my god, what? I don't remember at this moment in time. Yeah, well, I feel freaking terrible now. Uh, I don't remember just at this very moment. I'll end up remembering. I just I think it's just because I'm tired. But yeah, so I might add some urine. I might add some more blood. It's, you know, I might add some hair or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to add something. Um, oh, and that's another thing I'm going to add to my mojo bags. Some hair, fingernail clipping, something, you know, the cool stuff. Okay. This. I made this. Like, right before the Protection Magic Week. And I'm very, very proud of this because this is so... I just... When you hold this, it is, like I said, like with the witch's bottles, it is... All of my things, at least for me, I feel that are so full of energy and, and 